Hello again. I've been working on developing a project in Python and I named it GAT, short for Genetic Analysis Tool Pack. I developed this software in Linux Ubuntu, but it works on Windows as well because I generated a EXE extension for it and it works perfectly fine. The source code of this software is like this one. So it took me a lot of time to write this software. As you can see, it's a long source code and it has several functionalities. So I'm going to show you the functionalities. When I run the module, it gives you an output like this. This is the graphical user interface. I developed this GI in Tkinter. I got the, some of the ideas from a professor and a colleague of mine. So I mentioned their names here and in the paper because we published this one in a conference. You can delete the contents using this button here. And in the about section, you can find a sample sequence here, which is from POC19. When you paste this sequence here or any faster sequence, you can see paragraph markers to clean this data, click on trim paragraph markers, and then it gives you this output. Now you can delete this content again and paste your cleaned DNA sequence. You can perform certain functionalities on these, using these buttons, menu buttons or menu options, you can say, like if you want reverse complement, it gives you the output like this. If you'd like to get the reverse transcription of a RNA sequence, you can get that one using this menu option. The nucleotide menu has two menu options, the mononucleotide frequency and dinucleotide frequency. So this one here generates tabled and graphical output. So this is the nucleotide frequency output, which contains the number of each nucleotide and their total, as well as their proportion. And then it finally gives you an output from chi-square analyses to see the significant differences in their dependencies. And also, this is the graphical output in which a graph is shown here with the observed and expected values. You can save this output and you can change the extension of your output as an image. If you notice, you have the same observed, sorry, the same expected values because you have equal proportion in the setup of the experiment for each nucleotide. The dinucleotide frequency here gives you the expected and observed dinucleotide frequencies. However, this time the expected values varies. So we have 16 variables and this is the graphical output. This is from matplotlib, which is a library in matplotlib, taken from MATLAB. The codon menu shows you codon frequency table, like this one. It gives you the frequency of each codon in the codon usage family and their relative synonymous codon usage. And then it tells you that this one, as well as these other three, code for alanine, and these six for arginine, and so on. So it gives you all of the 20 amino acids with their corresponding codons and their relative synonymous codon usage. You can also perform codon optimization to E. coli genome for any DNA sequence. But since this DNA sequence belongs to E. coli and it has been optimized earlier, the optimization does not change significantly. So this is the optimization to E. coli genome and you can get this one, and copy and paste it there or anywhere. In the about section you can also find the tutorial and about the software and the developers. So I put the exe file in a website 
which is this one you can find it under the page project GAT these are explanations about the version and so on and this is the download link when you click on this one it directs you to a download link then you can download the software to work on it in Windows I hope you enjoyed this one and in the next videos I'm going to talk about other related projects in via Python and Python 3 thank you